for tip of the day. Mr. Robert is in the building today, the 9th of January, 2018. Today is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day across the country. On this day, citizens take the lead. Law enforcement officers of every rank and file have chosen a profession that puts their lives on the line every day for their communities. They've answered a call to public service that is demanding and often unappreciated. On this day, we have an opportunity to thank them for their service and offer a token of respect. 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 <laughs> hey, shout out to all the law enforcement uh, officers out there, Amen. men and women, those that work the mean streets of the bluffs, to those that got them cushy, cushy desk jobs, uh, uh, all of them out there. Um, I don't think, I'm trying to think if I had any family that ever worked in law enforcement. I don't think I have, but I got a lot of friends say, uh, that work in law enforcement. Remember where Day Day was just like. <laughs> no, Joy. Stay focused, Joy. Stay he was focused. like, of the world, Chris. Stay focused. Hey. Top flight. Y'all heard about H&M yesterday, didn't you? Oh yes, my did. H&M, the company removed their offending ad from its website after hundreds of social media users accused them of being racist. It continues to sell the hoodie top online, too. Uh, the image has now been removed from all H&M channels, and we apologize to anyone that may have been offended, says the spokeswoman, Miss Anna. The image of a child in a hoodie appeared on a British version of the Swedish retailer's online store. Look, look, the little baby had on a, a hoodie that said, coolest monkey in the jungle. Well, that kid happened to be an African-American child, and it did not pan over right with uh, social media folks. At what point did somebody in the market and say, nah, nah I don't uh, think it's a good idea? There, there wasn't anybody black in, in there when they were doing the photo shoot, because I would assume that someone would be conscious, but this is over in Europe, right? Right, right, this Swedish, is, so, yeah, you know, So I think Swedish. that there might be, you know, some people over there that, that even if there was someone black, that they might not have took it there right, the way everyone right. else in the United States took it. What, I, I wasn't necessarily excited about it, I, I did definitely kind of wonder where the parents were when it happened, but again, it might not have necessarily been that uh, important to right. them. But more importantly, what I love about media is that this story almost, almost took away the shine from Oprah in her speech yeah, from yeah, Sunday. That's a great what point. What we need to remember is, is that Oprah commanded that there was going to be a new day. And this story almost took over. It was almost as if they were both competing. And what I decided that I was not going to do was I decided that I was not going to fall Play. for it. Mm -hmm. And I, I stayed with the Oprah kick and the Me Too. And, and, and I did not. I saw it. I read it. I felt some kind of a way about it. But shout out to Oprah. And Robert Joy had a, a great point because over there... In their marketing department, one, it probably wasn't any African Americans, but they probably wasn't sweating it like that. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. You agree? Yeah, I do. It's just a sad situation. Um, it should never happen. Mm. Point blank period. No matter who was over what, it shouldn't happen. There you I go. mean, I mean, everything that's going on right now, more this is what needs to happen. More love, less hate. Mm. Period. Very I mean, we need that more. We need each other more now than ever. And speaking of Oprah Winfrey, since Joy brought up, because we do not want H&M domin dominating the headlines, a White House spokesman said on Monday that 45 would welcome Oprah into the political world if she decided to challenge him for the presidency in 2020. Uh, some folks over there, uh, who was that, the uh, press secretary, said, we welcome the challenge, whether it be Oprah or anybody else. They told uh, reporters aboard Air Force One when they were coming down here to ATL Georgia yesterday. Now, we don't know if 45 watched Winfrey's captivating speech during the Golden Globe Awards show Ye uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. A pair of Winfrey's closest friends told CNN after the Golden Globes that she is actively thinking about running for president. Why not? You know, right. I saw someone post to me uh, with Michelle as her uh, vice, vice president. president. That'd be some old and, house of cards. And, and uh, Oprah as, um, you know, as the president. And I got excited about it. I mean, we, yeah. if, if, you know, I mean, I mean, right. I think that at this point, I mean, even if it's not them two together, even if it's just Oprah, I mean, she just demands so much respect. She's such a classy right. woman. Right. She is, she's just the epitome of someone not allowing anybody else to deter her from her purpose mm, and, right. and her reason on being on this earth. And, um, 
I'm I, all for it. I heard some some guys around the coffee, what is it, the water cooler the water conversation, cooler. talking about, I don't understand how Oprah got so much attention. Dude, first of all, Oprah Winfrey was the first African-American billionaire in the world. Right. One. Right. Yeah, who started out doing TV and radio, who got fired from her job, who was molested right. back in the day, and she's built this empire, and you as you don't know how she got to this point? Dude, wake up. I was going to yeah, say, you know, up. again, some people are so woke, they still sleep. Yeah. Oh, say that one more time. Some people say, are so woke oh that they're God. still asleep, so. Hey, that yeah, that's about. it. So anyway, we can go to break on that. Hey, 2020 is and coming, and it is not far away, and guess what? Oprah oh, may be on that ticket. Y'all better get Right registered to vote. I was gonna yeah. say you can't put that in your next no, book. No, no, too. no, I no, no. Why you over no, here? No, write I, down tips. But, but if <laughs> but you got a tip them, for us, go yeah. ahead, knock All it right, out. Here's this one. Tip twenty nine, and this is correlates to everything we were saying. Prove a point with integrity because your ego is unnecessary. Amen. Mm. Yes. Hey, when we come back, we're going to talk Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and we're going to call yeah. Alibaba's and thank them for what they're doing up there in New York City hey. for the homeless. See if we can get some of that Turkish food sent down here. <laughs> Michael Joy, like I Baby, come give me something. 